and certainly not Donald Trump. And what I do offer is a new generation of leadership for our country. The first face-off between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump did not disappoint last night. The two presidential candidates squared off in their first and possibly only debate. The ABC News presidential debate is really generating a lot of reaction from both sides. Democrats and Republicans hope that the back and forth brings their voters to the polls on November 5th. Our NBC10 political reporter, Matt Pritchard, joining us here in studio. Matt, what are you hearing today? Well, Priscilla, two things kept coming up throughout the day, substance and style. Both parties weighing how their candidate performed in those areas and whether or not it'll resonate with undecided voters. Two face-to-face -face meetings. Let's have a good debate. You see, have fun. Over the course of 24 hours. <laughs> Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump pressing forward after last night's debate as party leaders in Massachusetts look back and react. I think the clear winner, of course, was the Vice President who took time to articulate uh, her vision. It did feel at times that Donald Trump was also uh, debating the, the moderators as well. The pair of presidential hopefuls each had their moments. Donald Trump slamming the current administration. Where is our president? We don't even know if he's a president. And, and just to clarify they here. They threw him out of a campaign like a dog. Kamala Harris combating Trump's 2020 election fraud claims. Donald Trump was fired by 81 million people. So let's be clear about that. And clearly he is having a very difficult time processing that. Questions on immigration, the economy and the war in Gaza filled out the 90-minute back and forth as surrogates and strategists spar over which candidate won the substance battle. She was focused. She was clear. She showed that, you know, she's going to be there for all Americans. Trump is able to to substantiate his arguments and Kamala just kind of is always a word salad. And whether any of those moments will ultimately stick with voters. I don't think that debates move the needle at all. Everything matters at this point. Um, you know, and I, I hope a lot of people tune in. Now, 55 days remain until Election Day. We are turning our attention now to the vice presidential debate between Tim Walls and J.D. Vance that's taking place on October 1st. And maybe, just maybe, another meeting between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris on the debate stage. In studio, Matt Pritchard, NBC10 Boston. Okay, Matt, thank you. Voters in New Hampshire have their own opinions of the debate. They're very independent-minded there. NBC10 was back in the Granite State today to find out what voters thought of last night's debate. I don't know who won. Um, makes me more undecided, probably. I'm still undecided completely. Uh, Trump was Trump, and uh, Harris was Harris. Yeah, I think I, I feel much more optimistic about uh, the election outcome.